Hey guys, this is Geetanjali. In this video, we'll be doing conjugation. So, conjugation is another type of gene transfer. Like how we saw two processes previously, transformation and transduction. This is also a process of gene transfer in prokaryotic cells, right? So, in conjugation specifically, transfer of plasmid is seen unidirectionally that means only in one direction so it cannot happen the other way around so we have we know that plasmids are extra chromosomal dna they you know infer special properties to the bacteria okay like you know resistance to antibiotics or able to develop a special uh, organelle etc so in this case we have a special plasmid called the f plasmid this plasmid it confers a unique property to the bacteria that is to develop a sex pili okay this plasmid also has the ability to replicate so firstly uh, we have two bacterial cells over here so we call the one having the F plasmid as the F plus. This is basically the donor cell. And we call this F minus that is the recipient cell. So as I told you, this is capable of replicating itself. So in the next stage, it replicates itself. After replication, since it also has the ability to form a sex pillus, okay, it forms a sex pili which attaches itself to the other bacteria that is the F minus the recipient bacteria. So after this, what happens is that as it has replicated, it has two copies, okay, so there are two copies of the plasmid. So one copy is transferred to the recipient cell so when this happens there are now two f plus cells that means now these two cells are now again capable of going to another f minus cell to perform conjugation so now you understand why i told it was unidirectional so now what ha happens is that this f plus one it cannot do the same to the f plus right because as soon as the f minus receives from f plus it becomes f plus so that is why the other way around cannot happen this was the uh, last form of gene transfer in prokaryotes 